transfer to other European nations as offered by many, including UAE. Definitely, if you see, basically, uh, it, uh, it will depend on both. You know, it's the consumer first of all. You see, if I'm the student, and if I have been offered the opportunity, you know, because I'm already, you know, studying in outside country, and I have come because of the unprecedented circumstances to my country. And if there's a neighboring country, European country, who are offering, and if I have the means to go, definitely the priority, you know, the uh, opportunity or the priority lies over there. Okay, so that means that person, his or her decision is the utmost. And also, we do not know in what conditions they are offering. It's not going to be definitely free of cost, but definitely they will see that it becomes easier for them to imbibe education over there. So probably it's the student's choice which matters first. And then, you know, we are not there to interfere in them who is doing wrong and who is not doing wrong. Because right now, our, we have to work on our own guidelines you know, as to, from the perspective of what uh, are going to be the strategies for these students to come. Prakash also says that the students were unpatriotic to go abroad to study. It is not government's responsibility to rescue them. So, what according to you have been the road of globalization in building American fraternity? I will not say that you know. Basically, today we definitely say it's one world, one health. It's a world is a global village. But then, you know, when it comes to everybody is very miser when we come to our own country, right? But then, you know, uh, and we will also want that most of our people should be staying over here and studying over here and giving best to our country. But, you know, when it comes to opportunities and students are not able to get the opportunities and they have the means to go out and they have the means to, and they are talented enough to clear the exams also. That is where, you know, we have to be very vigilant as to you know what went wrong, kind of. But then I will not say that they are unpatriotic. It's where you know, and patriotism lies in the fact that even if you are outside, you are caring for your own country. There is not that you know by being over here only you will care for your country. I know a lot of examples where people are you know uh, they have studied from here, they could not get job opportunity over here, they settle down outside. But they are helping our countries in various ways in getting the research projects, in opening our you know, new education programs in our country, supporting you know, our national medical graduates. So that is where I will say that you know it's not being unpatriotic. If you know everybody will have the opportunity of being here, nobody will like to leave the country that is there. Except you know, where if you want definitely it's something like a person from a smaller village, you said he aspires to come to, you know, or to, he aspires to be a medical graduate, but also he aspires to come to Delhi, or he aspires to go to Mumbai, or to metros, you know, it's a natural thing, which you cannot deny. So you see, there are various ways, I would say that, I would say that when we talk of one world, one global village, it's not one way in which you can help the country, there are many, many ways in which you can help the country by you know supporting the students, by providing them, by creating more you know kind of education opportunities. We can you know, have exchange programs so that our students you know are more learned, they come back and you know so our, by being there one can definitely help. So it is also important to have you know I'll say a segment of our people over outside so that you know from what is there from an international perspective. If somebody goes and gets a job in you know, WHO headquarters or you know, in other, so there's nothing wrong in that, it's not with unpatriotic. It's been looking at, you know, uh, you know, it serves our purpose from, you know, international diplomacy also. So I feel that it is very important uh, that uh, both kinds of situations have to be viewed in a balanced manner, but I will not call them unpatriotic. We have to first of all create the situation or create the opportunities on the world. Uh, in terms of getting them to the educational institution. Second is providing the education and retaining them. That is important. And then we have to work on really look at, you know, kind of what they are being paid, you know. There is not much of substantial difference, you know, kind of where they get from, you know, 
a private sector versus government sector and that is also another important thing and also now the time has come that we need to tap on the system of our already's or we have to rely upon there are many people who have just you know, kind of served in the private sector but they do not they have a passion for teaching and we need to create that kind of opportunity where these people can come in and teach our medical students and you know also keep you know because they will bring in you know kind of new dimension to our education that is important and government will also be benefited because they the people have to be compensated on the hourly basis in you know retaining them for you know kind of with all the benefits and all of them. But most important is that that we create opportunities for them to come and serve you know as the you know eminent teachers. So that becomes very very important. And then they are not only teachers then they become the caregivers of the husband as well. So that's it.